Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Everledger and today I am back with another Pixel Guy in the 3D video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the last video I did, which was uh, the channel of the name. Is Pixel Gun 3D pay to win? You guys seem to really enjoy that video, and today's video is kind of a follow up video on that, um, but it's gonna be going into more details about it. And it's really just like a message to you guys and also a message to developers. No, this is not an exposed video, so don't take it that way. I'm not trying to expose the developers, I'm just showing you guys the real numbers of things and just showing you guys how pricey this game actually is right now. And the developers might want to take some steps towards fixing this because lots of people don't like this. We everybody already knows this. And the actual numbers are kind of crazy if you're actually asking me, which you, nobody really asked me, but I mean, you guys seem to really enjoy the last video, so I figured you guys pro probably really enjoyed this video as well. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into it, and um, let's, let's just look at this, this, let's look, look at this stuff. So first things first, keep in mind that this, these numbers are going to be mainly towards the max level players in the game, because max level players have to deal with the most expensive weapons. The reason for this is because once you level up more and more in the game, your weapons are going to be, uh, they're going to increase in price. I really wish they did not do this because it really makes it unfair towards the higher level players because once you get to higher level players, uh, once you get to higher level, then you can't really get more weapons because they all increase in price. Like right over here, if I can find them, we got 1800, 1600, 1700, 1700, 1800, 1600, 1400, and then 1800 again. They're really pricey weapons and... <coughs> Yeah, you guys are like, if you just grind hard enough, you can get those coins. Yeah, that is true. But let's just look at the actual numbers behind this. So first off, first things first, everyone's saying that the game is pay to win. So to do that, we do have these little deals right here, which I will touch up on this later in the video. These are a really good deal, but I'm going to touch up on that later in the video. So but if you come over here to the plus in the top right and go to your coins, I only do this with the coins. I know the gems are going to be really bad, but over here... If you look at the 6,000 coins right here, the Holy Grail, it's $129.99 that is for uh, Android players. I don't know if it's like that for iOS. I do know a couple updates ago, iOS users had cheaper prices than Androids, and they need to fix that as well if they haven't already, because that's very unfair as well. But if you do the math right here, which you would do $129.99 divided by 6,000, you would get how, how much one coin in the game is actually worth if you're buying this pack and if you do that you get uh, about 0.21 cents or 2.1 cents per coin which is not that bad that's still about half as bad as what um well for a uh, fortnite is like like it's twice as bad as what fortnite's prices is because fortnite's prices are like cheaper than what they are in this game which is really good but um 2.1 cents per coin is not that bad but who is honestly going to buy 130 dollars worth of coins in the game unless you're someone like echo soldier who has the money for that but then again i he he does get coins and gyms in the game from the devs just like i do and why would you do that so if you're being logical i believe most people would probably get one of these three cheapest ones in the game i don't know why you get the 149 because that's really a rip off but if you get the 149 it's going to be th about three cents per coin if you get the 399 it's going to be about 2.9 cents per coin and if you get the 240 coins the six dollars and 49 cents one it is about 2.7 cents per coin which like i said is not that terribly bad but that is really pricey um compared to what other games are and that's uh, that's a kind of a problem right there but if you take that stat so i'm just going to be using the uh 240 coins the 649 pack uh, right there i'm going to be using the big stack of coins that prices right there for all of this in the game because i feel like that'd be the most logical thing that people would buy unless you're actually buying one of these which is honestly what i would recommend buying like this right here 549 for 530 coins and 120 gems that's a really good deal uh don't pass if you if you do like spending some money on the game do not pass up on these offers because these things are really good deals and uh if if i was not getting coins and gems from the devs i would definitely do this but keep in mind this is not an exposed video so don't think that is so if i come over here to the armory i have the champion peacemaker up here i have not bought it yet it's one of two primary weapons i do not have in the game this weapon is 3135 coins so if you do take that 2.7 cents per coin and do the math which would be 2.7 times 3,000, it wouldn't be 2.7, it would be like 0 0.027 times 3,135. That would, that will tell you how much this weapon is actually worth. And that's kind of some scary math. This weapon right here is eight, $84.64 in the game. 
That is a lot. For one weapon in the game, one weapon is eight, 84, nearly $85 in the game, which that needs to be fixed. That needs to be changed. You should not... One of your regular weapons in the game should not be this expensive. Yeah, event weapons, I kind of see that. Um, but... Event weapons, they're supposed to be kind of pricey because they're limited time things for people to get. These are everyday items you can equip whenever you want to. You can get them whenever you want to. They're not supposed to be this expensive. They they are really not supposed to be this expensive. And this is why I'm saying the developers really need to make a change. I've been saying this for a long time. I'm not saying make them to where they're really, really, really easily obtainable. Um, just make them a little bit cheaper. $85 for one weapon of the game is a lot for just one weapon. So if we go over here to the backup section, I have the Electro Blast Pistol, which is right over here. This weapon is 1,595 uh, coins. And if you do the math, same exact math, which would be 0 0.027 times 1,595, this weapon comes out to $43.06. That is a lot of money, like I'm saying. I'm not gonna do one for every single class. I believe the next one is over here in the sniper section. Go over here to the semi-auto sniper rifle, which is the cheapest weapon I currently have to buy. It is 1,195 coins. And if you do the same math, it comes out to $32.26. Keep on, this is the cheapest weapon I currently have available to buy and it's $32 which is pricey that is very pricey so this is honestly kind of more of a hit towards the pay to win players but just knowing how expensive these weapons are are in the game like and to, like if you put it into real life currency US dollars uh, I don't know about Canadian dollars and all that stuff because I'm not Canadian I don't live in Europe I don't know any of the other prices besides US dollars but if you put these into US dollars these are really expensive and over here in the heavy section we have the last one that I actually have an example of which is the champion solar cannon which is not the most expensive one I have actually I think it might be by just 10 coins but anyways right over here it's 1855 coins if you do the same exact math just like we've done with all the other ones this weapon totals at fifty dollars and eight cents so for these four weapons i've given examples on that is a total of two hundred ten dollars and four cents this is a problem this is not even a complete loadout and that's already two hundred plus dollars for one two-thirds of a loadout three-fourths of a loadout. i don't know it's hold on let me do the, one two okay that's six for four sixths of a loadout for yeah two-thirds of a loadout is two hundred dollars plus that's incredible. That's not incredible. That's insane. That's, that's outrageous. Don't be doing that. But that brings me to these deals over here. So if you are someone who does like spending money on the game, this is what you need to be looking at. The shooter set 549 for 120 gems and 204. Ah, I can't talk. 530 coins. That's a really good deal because we come over here to the coins. Uh, 495 uh, five coins is $13. So you're already getting a huge deal on the coins. And come over here. I believe it's 120 144 uh, gems is $6.49. So you're getting an incredible deal right over here with that offer, which is the shooter set. So honestly, I recommend getting this. They did recently nerf these because these sets used to be so much better. Uh, last update, the, you can get 120 gems and like 1,200 coins for $3.49 or $1.99, which was really good. I used to always get those right over here. Another really good deal. Uh, and you get a weapon as well, which this weapon is worth $43. So, I mean, I just think it's outrageous how expensive these weapons actually are. Um, ah, this is, this is a big problem in the game. Honestly, I think it is a really big problem in the game. This one's a, that's a pretty good, that's a really good deal as well. So like these deals right here is what you need to be keeping your eye on. Uh, I'm not sure about how much the keys and stuff are worth. Cause it's not really much you can do about that. Um, if you are lucky, I mean, it's probably really good, but I mean, this is, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how much this is or how much these weapons actually cost because I have a lot of weapons in the game. Um, you guys already know that. I'm not saying that to brag up to you guys, but I have a lot and I'm trying to max out my account as fast as possible. And that's so hard to do playing on my own. Um, I, yeah, I can just ask the developers. I can ask the developers if I want to for some currency, but sometimes I like doing stuff on my own which is really fun and I mean it's expensive it's really expensive and like for lower level players you guys don't have to deal with this because you guys have much cheaper prices in the game but I mean these weapons yeah they're a bit pricey um I'm not saying make them 50% cheaper I'm saying maybe make them 20% cheaper 25% cheaper please just do something with them decrease the price a little bit but like I said guys I'm not making this as an exposed video on the developer so don't go hating on the developers or I'll be going pixel gun 3d is trash it's pay to win no don't be doing that stuff I'm just saying that we need to update but anyways guys that is going to be it for the today's video if you guys did enjoy it make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what you guys think about the prices do you want to see the prices go down or do you just really not care you would just be fine if they just stayed exactly what they are 
I personally would love to see them go down a little bit. 15, 20% in price would be amazing. And I could have done my, uh, numbers on that, but I'm too lazy to do that. So like I said, guys, please do not give, give hate to the developers for this. Developers are doing really, working really hard to keep the game at where it's, where it's at right now. And yes, they do need to make money somehow. But I did, when I did do the math for this stuff, I did kind of like, it kind of raised an eyebrow. Um, for me and just let me know what you guys think about all this if you guys do want to see more content subscribe and turn on the bell notification So you never miss out on any uploads and with that being said I hope you guys all had a very blessed day and I will see you all in the next video